Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a super fast gold farm. It yields about 26,000 gold nuggets per hour and doesn't create a lot of lag. It does create some lag because of its size, but it's definitely better than a shifting floor design. Basically, we have a modified version of my overworld mob farm. Whenever a zombie pigman spawns, he is detected by the tripwire and gets pushed down. The only problem, like in the overworld mob farm, are baby pigmen. You can't detect them so they would reduce the rates of the farm, but there's nothing you can do with this type of farm. But eventually they will be pushed over by other mobs to spawn nearby them, or they just simply despawn. Your AFK spot is on top of the farm, and all the zombie pigmen that would glitch through would despawn because you're more than 24 blocks away. So here's the killing floor, where all the uh, pigmen that fall down are killed and the, br the drops are pushed against the wall so they would uh, yeah, get past those fence gates. Then if we go down we have the collection area. We collect the drops with uh, hopper minecarts to travel under there and pick all the items up and unload them in this unloading station. In this unloading station we also filter out uh, all the rotten flesh we don't need it gets dispensed into the lava and only the gold nuggets uh, are processed in the first system. All the gold nuggets land on top of those glass blocks here. Uh, maybe we can find one. Yeah, here for example. Then uh, another minecart uh, picks those uh, items up and is transporting them to a bigger unloading station. We have a uh, super fast unloading station here, which ca can unload a full hopper minecart of 320 items in 4 seconds. The items are distributed uh, with the system here and shot out by the dispensers. So here you can see it, the nuggets are shot out and then they are brought to one sp spot and pushed further and then they transport it up this item elevator. The, the length of this ice strip is exactly right, so the items have the right speed to go up, so they don't overshoot it or are too slow. And when they're up, they're transported, transported further. And a shot along this line um, into those uh, hoppers. The items uh, get aligned like with a water stream system with those ender chests. And here we have the collected items. A lot of gold nuggets already, so you get about 26,000 gold nuggets per hour. And then you can craft those gold nuggets into gold ingots and just can throw it on the so those hoppers here and put all your gold nuggets in here. And if you want, you can craft out of those uh, nuggets gold blocks. So you would get on average 320 gold blocks per hour. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, apart from the unloading systems, um, where I already made tutorials about those, and the transportation system, where I al already also made a video about it, um, it's not really complicated to build. It's just a ton of effort. You, of course, you could make um, a version that isn't that big, uh, based on uh, the tripwire system. But I went for the maximum efficiency here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.